at news time. Information is power. The current. The news headline. Yoruba Nation leader Akintoi blasts Buhari over independent speech. The news in full. The Ilano Omo Odua has asked President Muhammad Buhari to leave Sunday Ibo alone and name those financing terror in the country. The leader of the IOO, who is a renowned historian, Professor Banji Akintoye, said in a statement on Friday that the speech delivered by Buhari to mark Nigeria's 61st independence anniversary had emboldened self-determination agitators to continue in the struggle. He said that Igbo and other self-determination agitators were not doing anything that violated the law while also asking the president to name the National Assembly member who he accused of financing Igbo. Akitoye also said the entire speech of Buhari symbolizes hopelessness and chaos. It was a declaration of war against the peace-loving people of Yoruba land. Our message to him is that we shall not be intimidated. We shall remain loyal and committed to our struggle for an independent Yoruba nation, and we shall be undaunted. No oppressor has ever triumphed over the people, and therefore in this struggle we shall continue to be legitimate and peaceful. Akitoye also asked Buhari to name the National Assembly member who he accused of sponsoring Sunday Igbo. He also said that the president should leave Igbo who is pursuing a noble cause alone, and rather name the sponsors of headsmen Boko Haram and those killing, miming, and kidnapping Nigerians. Buhari has further exposed himself as the president of the North and not that of Nigerians. He has succeeded in emboldening us to fight on uh, to fight us more uh, on the need for agitation and uh, on the need for agitation for self-determination and for the Yoruba people. It is a total nonsense that Buhari is bothered about a Sunday Igbo who is engaged in a lawful agitation, endorsed and confirmed now by a court of competent jurisdiction, United Nations and African Union declarations on people, human rights and um, while he, Buhari, looked away on the murderous activities of the Fulani headsmen, terrorists, and Mieti Allah in the South and Middle Belt territories. Mr. President said an unknown city member of the Nigerian National Assembly is involved in the funding of Sunday Igbo, that is an absolute mendacity. The Yoruba people from villages to villages uh, to the diaspora are contributing their hard end resources to oil and sustain the agitation. Our appeal to Buhari is to, as a matter of urgency, name the invisible National Assembly member so that the Yoruba people can celebrate him because he is supporting a noble struggle. If indeed such a National Assembly member exists unknown to us in Ilano Omodua, we say very expressly that he is a hero that has chosen to stand by illegitimate legal and constitutional agitation. Therefore, Buhari is merely grandstanding. As Buhari named the unknown National Assembly member, our utmost appeal to him is to help Nigerians in naming those funding Modaros, Fulani headsmen, and Boko Haram terrorists oppressing, miming, uh, killing, and raping his people in the north and the south of the, uh, of the middle belt with impunity. And this is a call uh, by the Yoruba Nation leader, Akintoye, who has uh, blasted Buhari over the independence speech. We know that October 1st was the Independence Day, uh, and um, President Muhammad Buhari had actually said that, uh, you know, after giving thanks to God for sustaining the country right from the day we uh, got the in independence up to this moment, and despite that, the last 18 months, uh, especially since he has assumed office, has been uh, a very uh, terrible period, especially in the country, saying that it is obviously one of the toughest period uh, in, in history, you know, especially because of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, amidst the terrorism and killings here and there going on in the country. Therefore, President Muhammad Buhari has said 
that he would not tolerate anyone who is actually uh, looking for a breakup uh, in Nigeria, saying that we must remain unified and the country is uh, undivisible, and that therefore it would ensure that the unity of the country uh, is secured. He also said that Namdekanu and uh, Sonde Igbo, who are actually at the uh, DSS facility and also Beninois prison, are actually uh, going to you know, uh, be treated according to the law, uh, saying, that any, uh, saying that the people actually financing them are actually exposed, and they're mentioning that the national one one of them that are financing boots in Abdekano and them um, uh, Sunday Adeyemo that is Sunday Igbo have been exposed and one of them happens to be a lawmaker in the National Assembly and Buari has said that they are vi uh, vigorously you know going after the lawmaker who is doing this saying that he will not spare anyone that is found uh, one, uh, that is found them um, guilty of supporting this self determination. However, the uh, Ilanomo Odua has asked President Muhammadu Buhari to leave Sunday Igbo alone and then name those financing terror in the country. The leader of the Ilanomo Odua, who is now a renowned historia, historian, Professor Banji Akintoye, said in a statement on Friday that uh, the self-determination -agit uh, agitators should continue in their struggle, saying that Sunday Igbo and other self-agitators were not doing anything that, that, that violates uh, the law of the land and while also asking the president to name the National Assembly member who he accused of financing Igbo, Akitoye said that all the speech of Buhari is just uh, towards, you know, uh, making, causing chaos in the country because it symbolizes hopelessness, saying that the declaration of war against the peace people, uh, peace-loving people of Yoruba land uh, seems to reassures uh, the people that he is only the president of the North and not of Nigeria, and that they will remain loyal, committed uh, to their struggle for independent Yoruba nation, and nobody can oppress them because no oppressor has ever triumphed over the people. Also, he has said that whoever it is that is sponsoring Igbo, if that is true, needs to be uh, called a hero and then needs to be celebrated if anybody of such actually exists, because such a person has decided to stand by a legitimate, legal, and uh, constitutional agitation. Therefore, what Buhari is just doing is merely a ground, uh, ground standing, saying that it is total nonsense that Buhari is bothered about a Sunday Igbo who is engaged in lawful agitation and living behind the terrorist Amiyeti Allah in the South and Middle Belt territories who are killing uh, and performing Modarox activities uh, in the country. And this is the news. Thanks for listening.